is caught at a fairly advanced stage. And once you have a lymph node involved in the neck, it's either stage 3 or 4 disease. Even these cases have a very excellent, um, uh, it's very treatable, and a very uh, excellent uh, uh, cure rate. But that treatment is not oh, necessarily very easy. It's a fairly uh, rough uh, course of treatment uh, to, uh, to treat the head and neck cancers. Now, you've got a support group uh, through your organization, First Coast Oncology. This is for people who've been newly diagnosed. Uh, a meeting is coming up this month, correct? Yes, this support group is a national support group, actually, and we host it at our office. It's support for people with oral and head and neck cancer, and we it's, you call that, that whole acronym, support with people with oral and head and neck cancer, is pronounced SPUNK, <laughs> S-P-O-H. And you need and SPUNK to get through this. Exactly, you do. Whether you're having <laughs> surgery for your throat cancer or whether you're having chemotherapy or radiation therapy, you need a lot of SPUNK, you need a lot of energy to get through it. But yes, we have a uh, support group, and they meet monthly, and uh, the next meeting is on April 17th at 6 p.m. Um, in our office. Coming up. Visit firstcoastoncology.com for more about that. And these types of cancers, April is Head and Neck Cancer Awareness Month. So Dr. Scott Ackerman, radiation oncologist, we so appreciate you joining the program this morning. Well, thank you for having me. Well, later in the hour, Tech Tuesday looks at the past.